Good day! In this video, we are going to show you the proof of 1 equals to negative 1. Of course, this proof is not correct. I will make an assumption along the way and I want, I would appreciate it if you could point out which step that I made a wrong assumption. So without further ado, let's start the proof. We're going to start the proof with the equation of 1 equals to the square root of 1. The square root of 1 is also equal to 1, so that assumption is right. So 1 is equal to square root of 1 is fine, and then we are going to work most of the proving on the right hand side of the equation. So we're going to start with 1 equals to the square root of negative 1 multiplied by negative 1. So we can convert negative 1 times negative 1 to be equal to 1. So that is also fine, okay? So the second step of this proof is that we are going to remove this bracket and we're going to write then as square root of negative 1 multiplied by the square root of negative 1, okay? So that is the second step of the proof, okay? So now we are going one step further. You know that negative 1, when you put in a calculator, you can't get an answer. You, if you do com, uh, complex number, you come up to i, and the square root of negative 1 is also going to be i. So when you multiply i by i, what you will get is this number is going to be equal, or oh, my friend run out in. So we are going to be i multiplied by i is going to be i squared. So we are on the way there. If you know your imaginary number, i squared is also the same as negative 1. So now you bring down the 1. So we have proved technically that 1 is equal to negative 1. So we have proved the equation that 1 equals to negative 1. Of course, there are some assumptions that was wrong along the way. If you can tell me which step that I made a wrong assumption, please write in the comment section and I'll see you in the next proof. Cheers everyone and have a good day.